Hello? Hello, Jughead. This is Archie. Come over right away. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Archie. Relax. Yes, and you relax too, folks, if you can, because here he is again, right out of the pages of Archie Comics magazine with all his gang. Well, it's Saturday afternoon as we look in on the Andrews home in Riverdale. We find Mr. Andrews seated in the living room, happily reading his paper. <laughs> as he came to us, <laughs> Hi, Dad. Uh huh. Oh, oh, hello, son. Hello, son. Dad, can I have the comics, please? <laughs> <clears throat> the what? Oh, oh, comics. No, 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 Archie. You certainly may not. She will. Well, how about the sports section, huh? <laughs> sports section. Uh, no, no, Archie, no, no. You, you cannot have the sports section or the comic section or any other section. I'm reading this paper and you can't have any of it. Now, is that clear? She was yes, Dad. Yes. <clears throat> Archie, for Pete's sakes, what are you doing down there on the floor? I thought I might be able to see the front page from down here. Oh, good grief, Archie. Get up off the floor. Yes, Dad. Haven't you anything better to do than heckle me while I'm trying to read this paper? Why don't you uh, call up Veronica? I have nothing to talk to her about. Well, there must be something you can do. Some place you'd like to go. Well, I would like to go to the movies. Fine, fine. Here's, here's a dollar. Go ahead. Go to the movies. Stay and, and, and see it twice. Oh, gee whiz. Thanks, Dad. I will. Thanks a million. See you later, Dad. Yes. No. Oh. Boy can really annoy. Hey, Eddie, busy right now. Oh, me. Uh, what is it, dear? Run next door and borrow two onions. I need them for dinner. Onion? But, Mary, it's a long time until dinner. I, I know I... it, but just do what oh, I say. I want to go and get... All right, Mary. All right, I'll go. But I don't know why you have to borrow things all the time. Yes, two onions. That man can really be... Oh, who can that be? Mm-hmm. Hello? Now, this is Andrew. Yes. And this is Genevieve Lodge. Well, Mrs. Lodge, hello. Uh, yes. And this is Andrew, I wanted to talk to you about the Red Cross. As you know, the Red Cross Fund is conducting its drive all this month. Yes. And they do such wonderful work. Their service to veterans, to the armed forces, and to communities in time of disaster, and so on. So oh, of course, Mrs. Lodge. Everyone knows the wonderful work of the Red Cross. Well, tonight I'm giving a big party for the benefit of the Red Cross. A party? Yes, with refreshments and hors d'oeuvres and everything, and I'm charging admission with all the money to go to the Red Cross. Well, that's a wonderful idea, Mrs. Lodge. Yes, isn't it? But I do so want it to be a glorious success, and I was wondering whether your husband would perform tonight. Perform? Yes. He tells such wonderfully funny stories, and I'd love to tell them tonight. Oh, oh, I see. Why, of course, Fred will be glad to. How wonderful, my dear. It's be wonderful. Thank you so much. I'll see you tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, dear. I hope Fred doesn't mind. Maybe I should... Here your onions. Oh, thank you, dear. But, Fred, Mrs. Lodge just called. Mrs. Uh, uh, what about it? Well, she's giving a benefit party for the Red Cross tonight. Oh, you, you, you didn't say we'd go, did you? Fred, that's no way to talk. Now, Mary, I have nothing against the Red Cross. In fact, I have already given them one contribution, and I'm, I'm going to send them another check before the month is over. But, but those parties of Mrs. Lodge's, a Fred, bunch of, told... of stuffy people and, and, and stale hors d'oeuvre that no one can eat. Yes, but dear, and I... And that just... Mrs. Lodge just fawning all over everybody. Oh, my dear. Yes, my dear. How are you, my darling? Mary, I am not going to that party. But, Fred, she asked if you would tell your joke. I don't care what she... Tell my jokes? 
Uh, me? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, Mary, uh, there's nothing I'd rather do than go to Mrs. Lodge's party tonight. <laughs> got my routine all set for the party, but would you, would you listen to it, dear? I want to get your reaction to the... Why, of course, dear. Go right ahead. Yes. Well, I thought I would uh, begin by... Uh, 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 well, go on. Go on. I'm listening. Oh, uh, uh, all right, dear. I thought you were busy. Uh, I thought I, I would uh, begin... Well, go ahead. Mary, I would go ahead if you would stop... Chopping those confounded onions for just one minute. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Go ahead. You have my undivided attention. All right, dear. All right. Now, tonight at that party, I'll, I'll make a few introductory remarks, mm-hmm. you know, and then, then I'll lead into my first joke. Yes. I'll say, that reminds me of a funny story. Oh, what reminds you of a funny story? <laughs> Something I will have said in the introduction, Mary. Oh, oh. Well, go ahead, dear. All right. Now, I'll, I'll say that reminds me of a funny story. <laughs> a story of an old maid who finally married <laughs> an X-ray specialist because he, he was, was the, the only, only one, one who ever, ever saw, saw anything in her. Anything in her. <laughs> Uh, what, Mary, what, what did you say? I said because he was the only one who ever saw anything in her. But, but, but I was going to say that, Mary. That's my... J- <laughs> Mary, don't ever do that when someone's trying to tell a joke. It, it upsets people. It, it frustrates them. It confuses them. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. But half the nervous people in this country got that way just from not being allowed to tell the last lines of jokes. I said I'm <laughs> sorry, dear. I won't interrupt again. Terrible thing. All right, dear. All right. So just see that you don't. It's not nice. Now, after I, I tell this joke about the X-ray specialist, <clears throat> then I have a very funny story about the lightning bug who got caught in the lawnmower. Oh, that must be a new one, dear. How does it go? Well, first of all, I say, um, do you know what the lightning bug said when he got caught in the lawnmower? Oh, well, he said, I want to... <clears throat> He's, the lightning bug said... De- no. No. Well, Fred, go ahead. What did the lightning bug say? Well, the, the lightning bug said when he got... <laughs> oh, great. I can't tell jokes with that going on. Is that Archie back from that movie already? Well, he must be. Archie! Archie! Calling me, Dad? Yes. Come in here. Okay, Dad. The fuck up not. Well, see me no more. When are you doing that? Pop that infernal uh, singing. Well, gee, Dad, that's just how the guy did it in the picture. He said, Swan Air, how I love that, now I love that. I don't care how the guy did it in the picture. Be quiet. Well, gee, I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah, the boy was only singing. I know. I know that. And I have I have no objections to singing as such. But, Archie, you never think of anyone but yourself. You come in here singing at the top of your lungs with no thought of whether somebody might be busy or, or sick or, or dying, for that matter. Twenty. <laughs> Gee, I love you. How I love you, my dear. Oh, just terrible. I'm sorry, Dad. Well, hereafter, show a little consideration for others. Yes, Dad. You are not a child anymore. Yes, Dad, I know. Oh, if you expect to uh, get... (laughs) Archie, are you crying? Well, yes, Dad, but it it doesn't matter. It's so... Fred, you see, (laughs) I told you you're too harsh with a boy. (laughs) Mary, I I, I didn't... uh, uh, What did I say to make him uh, cry? 
but I... Well, I, he's I, crying, I, isn't he? But, Bob, I... I Fred, I think you should absolutely apologize to the boy. Apologize? Well, all right, Mary. I, I will. Archie, son. I'm... I'm... Sorry. Well, will you accept your poor old dad's apology? I, I accept your apology, Dad. Fine. But what in tarnation are you still crying about? I said I'm sorry. Well, well, that's just it, Dad. I, I wasn't crying because of anything you said. There must be onions around here someplace. What? I've been chopping onions in this bowl. Is that what's making you cry? Well, sure, Mommy. You know how sensitive I am now. <laughs> Great. Mary, I told you that I did not say anything to make that boy cry. Fred, I'm sorry. Well, sure, I, I feel fine. <laughs> Oh, 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 yes, you sound fine. Look, if you can't stand onions, go into the other room, Archie, but just be quiet. Okay, Dad, I'm going. I, I sure can't stand those onions. Well, certainly glad that's over. Well, Mary, perhaps now I can tell you what the lightning bug said when he got caught in the lawnmower. Well, yes, Fred, go right ahead. Well... When the lightning bug got caught in the lawnmower, <laughs> he said, <laughs> D lighted no end. <laughs> well, Fred, that's very funny. Very, very funny. <laughs> Mary, are you crying at my joke? No, no, no Fred, your joke is all right. I. I guess these onions are getting me, too. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I'll go someplace else and reverse. Even Jack Benny couldn't be funny around here. Boy, this fresh air sure feels good. Funny thing how I just get near an onion and I go all to pieces. I wonder... Hi, Archie. She was Jughead. What'd you expect? Uncle Remus? <laughs> <laughs> she jug... I wish you'd been here a little while ago. I just saw a swell picture all about Al Jolson. Oh, I heard that was pretty good. Yeah, but I can do as good as that guy, I bet you. Oh, sure. Better, in fact. You want to hear me? Sure, go ahead. Okay, listen to this. Mammy, my little mammy, the sun shines east, the sun shines west, but I've just learned where the sun shines best. Mammy, mammy. Shut <laughs> Huh? Who is singing this anyway? I just joined in a little. Well, don't. I'm trying to show you how I would do that song. Okay, okay. All right, now I'll try another one. Now listen. Swanee, now I love you, now I love you, my dear old Swanee. I give the world to me. And you are here. Chuckhead. Huh? Chuckhead, just what do you think you're doing? Singing. Jug, it so happens that I'm trying to show you how I can imitate Larry Parks imitating Al Jolson. Well, I'm just imitating Archie Andrews, imitating Larry Parks, imitating Al Jolson. I know it. But can't you even keep quiet for just a minute? Why? I like to sing. Jug, you can sing all you want to, but right now I just, just want... You said I should keep quiet. Well, that doesn't mean you can't... Well, I keep quiet and still sing. But if you didn't talk so well, much, I'm trying to do a little... I'm trying to... Look, I'm trying to imitate Al Jolson. All you have to do is give me a little... What are you two arguing about? Huh? Oh, 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 hello, Betty. Where did you come from? I saw you from my house, so I came out. What's the big argument? Archie told me I couldn't sing. I did not, Jug. I just asked you to listen to me sing. Since when can you sing? I can sing a lot better than you. Oh, yeah? Yes, I well, certainly wait can. Wait a oh, minute. Think, wait a minute. Since when can either of you sing? Well, that's just the point, Betty. I just wanted to show Jughead I can imitate Al Jolson as good as anyone. You, Archie? Sure. You want to hear me? Well... I should know better, but go ahead. Okay, listen. There's a rainbow round my shoulder, and a sky of blue above. Not a sunshine bright, the world's all right, because I'm in love. 
There, Betty, how did you like that? Oh, golly, Archie, that was awfully nice. Did you mean it? Mean what? The song. The part about you being in love. Oh, never mind what the song said. What about my imitation of Al Jolson? Did you... Oh, boy, there's Veronica. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Betty. Hi, Veronica. Hi. Hello, Archie. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Archie Kim. <laughs> I'm looking forward to our day tonight, Archie. The, uh... Well... <laughs> Even if you are wasting your time with Betty right now. Wasting your time? Wasting your... Well, if you're so smart, Miss Lodge, it just happened that Archie has been serenading me. What? Archie? Yes, he just sang me a love song. But I was just... Didn't he, Jughead? Oh, sure. Archie, is this true? Oh, well, I was... Of course it's true. It sure is. Well, I like that. Oh, Veronica, you don't understand. I can... He sang, the sun shines bright, the world's all right, because I'm in love. Write to me, so there. Archie, did you? He sure did. Jug, be quiet. Veronica, I can explain. I'm not the least bit interested in your uh, explanations, Archie I... Andrews. If you're going to stand around on the street serenading every girl you meet, you can just go out with someone else tonight. But Veronica... But Veronica... <laughs> but Veronica, wait, Veronica. Oh, Veronica. She was... Gee, she was pretty sore. Oh, golly, Archie, I'm awfully sorry. I... I didn't mean to spoil your whole evening for you. Oh, no, Betty. You didn't spoil my evening. Not at all. I've been looking forward to playing gin rummy with Jughead for a long time. Fred, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be, dear. Well, is Archie going with us? Well, I don't think so, dear. This morning he said he had a date with Veronica for tonight. Veronica? Why, isn't she going to be at her own mother's party? Evidently not. Well, let's go, dear. All right, Mary. You know, something tells me we're going to have a very enjoyable evening at the lodges. <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Andrews, so glad you got here. Yes, hello, hello, Mrs. Lodge. Are we terribly late? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, dear, Mrs. Hastings is playing. Oh. Uh, come in and sit down. All right. Oh, Mary, good grief, listen to that. Say it, be quiet. Now, sit right there, Mrs. Andrews. Oh, thank you. Uh, you sit there, Mrs. Andrews? <laughs> thank you. Yes. Oh, Thank heaven for that. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought that you heard me. Well, I am. Here. Well, I am. Oh, lovely, simply lovely. Bring the floor. Why? Uh, lovely, lovely. It was wonderful. Mary, don't overdo it. She's liable to play an encore. Oh, and this hay thing, dear girl, that was delightful. Simply delightful. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, now, now, everyone, everyone. Now, uh, on behalf of the Red Cross, for whom this gathering is being held, I thank you. <clears throat> and now, uh, uh, pardon me a moment. Uh, I see what our next bit of entertainment will be. Uh, uh, she's coming over here. Oh, yes. Oh, and Mr. Andrews. Oh, no, uh, Mrs. Lodge. That was a very lovely number. Very <laughs> lovely, yes. Lovely. Oh, lovely. I've heard better. Mother. Mother. Oh, oh hello, Mr. Oh. Mrs. Andrews. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Veronica. Mother, some of the guests are leaving. Well, oh, my goodness, I was afraid of that. Uh, Mr. Andrews, do something before this party dies on its feet. Yes, of course. My goodness, if any more people leave, you won't get any money at all for the Red Cross. Uh, 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 please tell your joke. All right, Mrs. Lodge, I'll do my... My best. Oh, fine. <laughs> uh, well, I'll introduce you before it's too late. Thank you. Uh, quiet! <laughs> quiet, everyone! Everyone! Quiet! Now, uh, 
Uh, dear, dear friends, our, our next bit of entertainment will come from a man you all know well. <laughs> a man who has deservedly won a reputation for his quick wit <laughs> and sense of humor. Uh, and, <laughs> and who will now tell us some of his amusing stories, Mr. Fred Andrews. Good luck, dear. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Lodge, for that very uh, uh, flattering introduction. You read it just the way I wrote it. <laughs> uh, uh, for a while there, I, I thought you weren't going to introduce me at all. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a wallflower tonight. <laughs> Yeah, which reminds me of a very funny story that I, I just heard about a, an old maid who had tried to find a husband for many years. Well, <laughs> finally she succeeded in getting someone to marry her, a next ray specialist. It seems that he was the only one. Um, it seems that this X-ray specialist was the only one who could see you. Mr. Andrews, uh, forgive me for interrupting you, but we can't hear you very well with that horrible noise. I'm not surprised. I can't hear myself. What on earth can it be? Well, I've no idea. Uh, well, it seems to stop now. Yes, yes, it has stopped. Uh, continue, Mr. Andrews. I, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, I'm... That's quite all right. Well, this X-ray... Oh, good but... heavens, there it goes again. Mary, can that be it's our... on the garden. Wait, I don't know. I, I never heard anything like that. Well, I did just today. Fred, where are you going? To put a stop to that racket. Archie! Archie! Huh? Somebody call me? I certainly did. Archie, you come in here. She with is... Is that you, Dad? Yes, it certainly is, young man. Gee, Dad, what are you doing here? I was... Oh, oh gee. Hello, everybody. Hello, young man. Hello, everybody. No, oh, for Pete's sake's jughead. <laughs> Who'd you expect? Enrico Caruso? <laughs> Forsyth, Forsyth, be quiet. Archie, just what were you doing out in the garden? Well, gee, Mrs. Lodge, I... I didn't know you were having a party. Well, we were, till you started that noise. Gee, I'm sorry, oh, I only... Oh, dear, that wasn't noise. That was singing. What? Oh, yes, Mother. Archie is quite a singer. In fact, you ought to have him sing for the party. Yeah, the one? Oh, oh, but I couldn't... Sing? Say, Archie, do you sing? Who, me? Oh, oh no, Mrs. Archie, Archie I... I'm serious. Mother, you've never heard anything like it. Oh, but I... But I was just telling my story. Veronica, dear, that's a wonderful Mm. idea. A little popular music is just what we need to liven things up. But, Mrs. Lodge, what about my jokes? Uh, A little later, a little later, Mr. Andrews. Not right now. Uh, uh, Mrs. Hastings. Mrs. Hastings, dear girl, would you... Archie, Archie? you and I are going to have a long, long talk. Gee, Dad, how did I know this would happen? Now, now, what are you going to sing, Archie? Well... Since this is for the Red Cross, I think an appropriate tune would be Sonny Boy. Oh. It wasn't in the picture, Mrs. Lodge, but it's Al Jolson's greatest song. Oh, well, now that's fine. And uh, uh, Miss Casey, uh, you Archie, you, you are going to make a oh, fool fine. of yourself? Fred, it's too late now. Uh, 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 now, everyone, everyone, Archie Andrews will now sing Sonny Boy. Uh, Archie, just stand right near that table there. All right, Mrs. Lodge. Ready when you are, Mrs. Hastings. Climb upon my knee, sonny boy You are only three, sonny boy You've no way of knowing There's no way of showing What you mean to me Sonny boy When there are gray skies I don't I don't mind those gray skies You make them blue Sonny boy Oh friends May forsake me 
let them, let them all forsake me. You'll pull me through, sunny boy. You're sent from heaven, and I know your worth. You've made a heaven for me right here on earth. And then the angels grew lonely. They took you. They took you because they were so lonely. Now I'm lonely too. Son, you, you were terrific. Oh, it, it wasn't anything. And Archie, I apologize for thinking you couldn't sing. You deserve a great big gift. And, uh, I apologize too, son. You, you were fine. Oh, I'm so proud of you, dear. Thanks, Mom. Now, excuse me a moment, Archie. Uh, this is the psychological moment to take up another Red Cross collection. Now, people, I want all of you to show your appreciation. Yeah. I had no talk. idea I, I, I'd be such a hit. Well, neither did I, son. Why, you you almost had me in tears the way you sang that. Why didn't you tell your mother and me, Archie, about this secret talent? Talent? Dad, that wasn't talent. What? Well, sure, you... You see that table I was standing next to? You mean the one with the sandwiches and the hors d'oeuvre? Sure, Dad. Onions. Remember? Oh, onions. Onions! Oh, you mean those onions? Nobody knows about it. You mean the onions? So we conclude another chapter of the adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jantel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. This program is directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next week for more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Cherry wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company.